Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an immune boosting drink. I'm not gonna call it a tea because we're not gonna serve it hot for some reasons we'll get into a little bit later. This drink is very similar to what you can find in the store. You see these all the time, these, these uh, immune boosting drinks. This one, however, is a pretty good deal. It, it was $2 for the whole bottle, but Trader Joe's, for example, has the little shots. You see those all over the place, right? Ginger, turmeric, etc. And they are at least $2 for two ounces, which is crazy. So now I'm gonna show you how to make it at home. It's fresher, it tastes better because it's fresh, and you're gonna get all the nutrition in that you should because I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to handle certain ingredients so you get the most out of them. All right, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so we're gonna start off here with chef joke number one, and number two will be a little bit later. All right, so this is for all you hockey fans out there. So what drink do goalies hate the most? Penalty. <laughs> okay, so here's our ingredients for this nice and simple recipe. It's just how you handle the ingredients that's important. But first, let's go over them. All right, we have our turmeric root here. I'm using fresh turmeric and fresh ginger. You could use, you know, ground turmeric and ginger if you like, but I just, I like the idea of using fresh. We'll need a clove of garlic, and I'm gonna show you how to handle that to get the most nutrition out of it. We'll need one fresh organic lemon. I have some cinnamon here. Honey, today I'm using Manuka, I wanna use that up. Any raw, unfiltered honey will work. I like to use the least processed so that you have the most you know, nutrition in there. It hasn't been you know, destroyed through heat or anything else. And uh, we'll need some apple cider vinegar and I'm using the one with the mother in it. It has all the nutrition in it and that's what you wanna use. And we'll also need a little water. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is the garlic, all right? Now there are tons of studies on garlic and the health benefits. And from what I understand, you don't wanna subject it to heat right away because it inhibits some of the beneficial compounds in it. So put your garlic through a press or chop it up, whichever you prefer, then place it in a dish and let it sit for say 10 to 15 minutes. So this applies to any time you're using garlic in your cooking. Just let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes before you add it to heat. When you first try this recipe, you might want to start with just a half a teaspoon of uh, fresh garlic. And you may want to work your way up to maybe up to a teaspoon, but don't overdo it. You're going to want about a half an inch of the turmeric. Be very careful with the turmeric because it stains everything. And then we'll place the turmeric into our pan. Now here's our ginger, and we're gonna do basically the same thing, only I might use just a little more ginger. So we'll add the ginger to the pan and then some water. So we'll put this on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then we'll turn off the heat and let it steep for about 10 minutes or until it's cool. Here's our drink after it's been sitting for about 10 minutes, or steeping, I should say. You can see that the water has changed color. That's good. Now we're just going to wait for it to cool off a little bit more before we add our other ingredients. So while we're waiting for the tea to cool, I'll go ahead and slice the lemon and juice it and have it ready to go. So we want to add the lemon when the tea is cooled so we don't destroy the vitamin C with the hot water. Once the drink has cooled down so that it's just warm, now I'm gonna pour it through a strainer to strain out the turmeric and the ginger. A word to the wise here. Now remember that the turmeric is really something you gotta be careful with when you're handling it. It stains everything. Add about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, the lemon juice, the apple cider vinegar. Just make sure you shake it good a little bit before you use it. And now you're gonna add that garlic. Now we're gonna add our antioxidant powerhouse, honey. And then give it a really good stir to help dissolve the honey. I think it's best to start with about a teaspoon of honey and then work your way up if you think you need more. And if you think you need an alternative to honey, you could use maple syrup. Okay, so it's time for our last joke of the day. Here we go. Why did the hipster burn his tongue? 
because he drank his tea before it was cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pour this into my, it's gotta be hot to be good cup here, just for fun. And yes, we're gonna be eating all of that garlic. Yeah, it's gonna be good. And let's not forget a couple cracks of black pepper. That helps with the absorption of the curcumin that's in the turmeric, okay? All right, it's time to start drinking this up, right? Make sure you stir it because the garlic will kind of settle to the bottom and you don't wanna have a whole bunch of garlic down there when you're drinking it. This is more of a down it kind of concoction. All right, so here we go. It's got some, it's got some zip to it. And that lemon is so fresh and delicious. You gotta love that. And you gotta keep your temperature down when you add it so you don't destroy the vitamin C in it. But I think you guys are gonna like this. If you get sick, maybe give it a try a couple times a day, you see how it goes. Now remember, I, I'm not giving any medical advice here. I'm just saying, this might make you feel a little better. Worth a try. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to let me know by smashing the like button, okay? And if you'd like to watch another say more traditional tea type recipe for you. I've got one, it is probably my most viewed video ever. It's turmeric tea, so it's served hot. If you want a nice hot beverage, this is more lukewarm and uh, you know, or cold, put it in the fridge. But I would consume this within say three days for sure. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week back here for another rockin' recipe. Cheers. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an a moon, a moon, a moon. I'm gonna show you how to make a moon. <laughs>